The Elector Fortissimo 100 audio power amplifier is a great amplifier with high quality sound. To get the most out of it, it needs a good power supply. The Elector plus minus 40 volts linear voltage regulator is just that. The linear voltage regulator comes as a kit and here is how you assemble it. Assembling the linear voltage regulator must be done in a certain order to obtain good and durable results. In this video we will show the steps in the order that we think is easiest. There may be other ways, so if you want to take another route, uh, feel free to do so. All the parts required to assemble the voltage regulator are included in the kit, but not the tools. Also, thermal paste or grease is not included. Make sure you have some before continuing. Step 1. Assemble the PCB. As usual, the mounting order is based on the component height. Start with soldering the lowest parts, the small diodes, the small resistors, the 1 watt resistors and the 5 watt resistors that are mounted horizontally. Next mount the trimmers. The footprints for the trimmers allow various types of vertical multi-turn trimmers to be used. Mount the small capacitors, the faston or spade connectors and the fuse clips and their fuses. Now mount the small transistors, the integrated circuits IC1 and IC2, the small electrolytic capacitors C1 and C11, the LEDs and diodes D3 and D6. Note that the two LEDs are to be mounted anti-parallel. Step 2. Thermal reliefs. Make thermal reliefs in the leads of the four power transistors to reduce mechanical stress from temperature variations. The bands must be close to the package to allow the heat sinks to be soldered on the board. The heat sinks have a hole and there is not much room for error. Of course, you can drill another hole a bit above the existing one. Step 3. Mount the heat sinks. Place the heat sinks on the PCB. One way is placing the four heat sinks on the PCB and turn everything upside down. Another way is to place the heat sinks upside down on the bench and put the PCB on top of them. Solder the two pins for each heat sink while pushing them towards the edge of the PCB. Make sure the heat sinks remain perpendicular to the PCB. Step 4. The large power transistors. Put a very thin layer of thermal grease on the back of a power transistor. Place the transistor against the heat sink. Use a 10mm M3 screw to fix the transistor. Place two M3 washers under the head of the screw. This makes the screw a little bit shorter. The nearby tall decoupling capacitor is close to the transistor and the screw shouldn't touch it. Put the head of the screw on the outside and the nut on the side of the transistor. Fix the screw real tight. Repeat this procedure for the three other power transistors. Make sure that each transistor is in the right place before soldering them. Removing them once they are soldered to the board is very complicated. When you are sure, solder their leads. Step 5. The tall capacitors. The four tall 1000 microfarad decoupling capacitors can be placed on the PCB and soldered. Be sure they are placed perpendicular and don't touch the nuts or screws of the power transistors. Of course, double check their polarity. Step 6. Transistors T4 and T10. Transistors T4 and T10 can be fitted now with their small heat sinks. Two heat sinks are used back to back per transistor to reduce thermal resistance. Put some thermal grease on the back of T4 and T10. Put some thermal grease on two of the heat sinks. Stack two heat sinks against each other back to back and mount the transistor real tight with the M3 screw, washer and nut to the heat sinks. Make sure to put the transistors in the right place as they are not the same. When you are sure, solder their leads. Step 7. Remaining parts. Finally, mount the vertically placed 5 watt power resistors R11, R12, R13, R29, R30 and R31. Step 8. Visual inspection. 
Carefully check your assembly. Are all the parts in the right place? With the right orientation? Is everything properly soldered? Step 9. Testing. To test the voltage regulator you need a power supply. Here is a schematic of one you can use. It uses a 300VA 2x35V AC transformer, a bridge rectifier and four 10,000 microfarad electrolytic capacitors. Two per supply voltage, so 20 millifarad on each supply. Put a fuse in series with the mains voltage input. I used a slow 4 ampere type. Before connecting this supply to the regulator, make sure that the supply voltages are in the range of about 43 volts to 54 volts. Connect the voltage regulator to the power supply and measure the output voltages. They should be in the range from about 39 volts to 41 volts. Use the trimmers to adjust the output voltage. The no load input current should be about 27 milliamps. Step 10. Connecting everything together. As a last step, connect the Fortissimo 100 amplifier to the voltage regulator. Connect the high quality audio source and loudspeaker to the amplifier. Switch everything on. You should now hear high quality music. Enjoy! <laughs>